ha 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 it's in the middle of the day it's the middle of the day I feel so nice because it's the middle of the day I don't usually get to drive in the middle of the day but my wife is not feeling well so I'm going home what's up everybody my name's Russ rwresearch.com is my website Everybody has somebody. Okay. Ooh, it's brown over there. I don't like it when it's brown. But what are you going to do? This I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with you, everybody. Dude, you're so... Okay, I'm done. Anyway, I think it'd be a good idea to talk to you guys about... My current in defector design because I don't have time to sit down and talk about it in front of the camera when and if I can then I will right now I'm just using the uh, using the momentum of gravity to get me down the hill cuz I'm slightly low on gas all right so let's talk about this in defector real quick um, so what I've got going on is I want to be able to put three points of connections on the end effector because the end effector doesn't stay flat it has a little bit of movement in one of the axes and that is definitely a problem nobody's coming thank you okay so back to what I was saying, um, the idea here is to have three points and these three points will create a triangulated system, will then stabilize the end effector. Now why do I care so much about this? Well actually even on my other Delta, even on the Rostock it has the exact same problem. But the rod stock doesn't have good anchor points on the slide rails because they're only 8 millimeter in diameter and they can get tweaked really easily because you're talking about, what, 35 inches or more, 300, 400 millimeters. And um, the new one, the OSD, I made it so it's a lot better. And what I wanted to do was make sure it didn't have that kind of play in it and what's strange is if you grab the end effector and you just rock it like this you can actually get it to move a lot and uh, that's not helpful so by adding a third axis and by the way it doesn't move up by the rail it actually has a tiny bit of play in the plastic that I made the uh, temporary end effector arm holder whatever they're called, the parts that are on the rails. They're aluminum, right on the plastic rails. Aluminum. They're aluminum with plastic wheels on the aluminum rails. And that part's actually really sturdy. You can grab a hold of it, you can shake it, it doesn't really move. And if you grab the plastic, the plastic actually flexes quite a bit. I think I printed them not with so much plastic. And that was really, I'm just testing design parameters. That wasn't ever a final product. Um, and so the next goal is to redesign it the way I want it with bearings. And why, why do I have to use bearings? Well, that's the other big problem. I'm finding out that even a little bit of vibration on the CNC head is, is attempting to ruin the, the tightness of those Traxxas uh, rod arms, which actually work really well, but if there's a lot of vibration there, it's gonna loosen up. So, yeah, that's bad. So anyway, that's my goal. I'm, um, and the other reason I have to replace them is because they get in a bind. They don't have enough angle at one particular point. They don't quite have enough angle and they get in a bind and it changes the Z height just a little. And I mean a very, very little, but it's there, it's noticeable. So, uh, there, there's a whole giant reason why I'm doing this and the bearings are gonna make it smooth as snot 
and the problem is i don't want to add a bunch of weight either but if you add a cnc on there what's it really matter i don't ever print at these super high speeds i just don't so it's it's better if i design this thing to function well under a slower load and not be so concerned about moving this thing and having a super light end effector I'm at a point where I'm actually more worried about the strength so I kind of have to go back and revisit stuff and make sure it's right and uh, yeah now I'm behind a big trash truck or I mean uh, this isn't a trash truck this is a uh, oh <laughs> he hit the tree Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, you rock, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so that's two trucks in the same route. You're welcome, everybody. All right, I'm sure this video is getting pretty long and I don't know what the audio sounds like. I hope it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at on the OSD. I, I kind of wanted to just give you an update, but I, I just haven't had time to sit down and do it. So this will be my update video for you guys. I am working on it, but I'm not working, I'm not working further forward, I'm kind of working backwards. But I gotta do it, woohoo! Alright, I'll see you guys later, peace out, thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and I hope the audio is good, woohoo, God bless you guys, see ya, bye bye!